MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. We're dealing very hard to machine materials from a conventional standpoint, such as uh, zero shrinkage glass, and ceramics, advanced ceramics, into medical side, which are also part of our building, with hip zirconium, etc., etc., for dental industry as well. And these materials are the most challenging, possibly, to machine. How do Houghton's coolants hold up? Uh, one particular example was with the, as you can see on this. On the screen here, we've we got difficulty getting through coolant delivery on this particular tool that's 0.3 of a millimetre diameter with a 100 micron through coolant. You can see on here. The coolant that we had on board, supplied by Outlands, was too viscous, and even at 40 bar pressure, we got a, a back pressure alarm on the machine. Daryl from Outlands steps in, realised obviously it's a grinding process, but the diamond tool is an undefined cutting edge and he uh, suggested that we try a full clean out with ABC cleaner and then adopt 768 from Outlands, which resulted in through coolant at five bar and eventually at 15 bar when you're actually resisting the material to machine 10 millimetres deep with a cutter such as this. That's a very small hole. Normal coolants aren't going to get through there, are they? No, an imperative to deep hole drilling is the coolant. It's the most important part, obviously, second only to the actual tool. With the Houghton's technology, how does it affect tool life on these vast range of materials? Um, well, since we adopted Houghton 768, we decided to keep that in machine because machining other materials such as aluminium oxide and advanced ceramics on the intellectual property covered jobs, there's no reason to change it because we're getting very, very good tool life with very small tooling, which is going to wear quicker naturally on these very, very hard materials, so I don't see any reason to change it, to be honest. 